Do you suffer from the embarrassment and heartbreak of video bloat? You know, one minute videos so big they take five hours to upload to YouTube? If so, you're not alone. Millions suffer from this debilitating and shameful affliction. The Center for Disease Control in Atlanta says nothing about this at all. So it's up to us to stop this blight on mankind dead in its tracks. Hi, I'm Steve Washer with BrainyVideo.com. And we here at the Brainy Video Institute of Video Slimness are dedicated to making your videos go from fat to, you know, well, anyway, you know, we, uh, I know that you'd like your videos to be high quality, but so teeny tiny that when you go to upload them, you don't also have to watch your high school freshman daughter graduate from college before YouTube finally gets around to listing your video. So stay tuned because up next, I'm going to show you exactly how to cure the video bloat. So here we are in my editing program. My video is finished and it's time to turn it into something that YouTube will like. But what does YouTube like? It'll take just about anything you can throw at it. And that can be a problem because even though YouTube will upload it, it still might be too big to play. So if you're having the kind of problem where YouTube takes five hours to upload your one minute video, something is quite messed up. Now there are two possible reasons for this. One is that your internet connection just might not be terribly robust and well there's not really much I can do to help you with that. But the other is probably that you're trying to format your video in such a way that it just can't play on the web. One of the ways that you can export your video is as an AVI file. Now this happens um, automatically in some programs, especially Windows programs, uh, but, but here's what happens uh, when you export to an uncompressed AVI file. Now if you'll notice, this video right here is less than a minute long. Let's save this video as an uncompressed AVI file and see what happens. It'll take a few minutes to digitize. So let's just go ahead and um, uh, see what it looks like on the other side. Okay, now we've digitized this video and called it Big Bad Video. And if you'll notice here, Big Bad Video has a size of 10.02 gigabytes. That's gigabytes. Now remember, this video was less than one minute long. What's going to happen when we try to digitize this video in YouTube. Well, let's upload it and see what happens. Big Bad Video, open Big Bad Video, and let's see what YouTube says. First of all, YouTube isn't even going to accept our video, and that's because our uploads are limited in YouTube to two gigabytes. And this video is nine gigabytes. So it's just going to basically choke here, you know, 9.33 gigabytes, upload progress, starting to upload. I wager it's never going to get beyond that point. We could sit here for hours and hours and hours, and this video will never, ever upload. So we've got to do something about this. In fact, let's just not waste any more time on it at all. Let's go back to our editing program and see what we can do about this. That one minute video should be about nine or 10 megabytes. That will load quickly. And if you've digitized it properly, it will upload to YouTube in about a minute. So what format should we be using to make this happen? Well, remember today there are millions of iPads and iPods and iPhones out there and none of them will play Flash. Unfortunately, Flash is what most video players are made out of. So we need a video format that plays equally well on PCs and Macs, but without the Flash wrapper getting in the way. Today, that universal format seems to have become the MP4, and I'm going to show you how to make one right. So whatever editing program you're using, you should add QuickTime Pro to it. It's a $29 download from the Apple website, and it gives you tremendous power over your digitalizing. 
it'll make your pretty video into an equally pretty web video. So let's go back to my editing program now and get this dance started. It's actually a two-step dance. Some video editing programs simply can't output the video in the right way right from the timeline, so we have to fool the editing program into thinking that it's making a video to display on the jumbotron at Times Square. So the first step in the high quality format um, is to actually output it in a really high quality format. And that could be an AVI file. Anyway, don't worry about that at this point. Just make it great. I'm going to use QuickTime because I'm on an Apple computer. So I'll use H.264 and I'll make it a great big, let's say 1280 by 720. Hmm, that looks good. We'll call it sequence two. And hit save. Okay, now let's go see what we've got so that we can go to step two of this process. Okay, here we are on the desktop. And here is sequence two. And as you can see, we've gone from a big bad video, which was 10 gigabytes, to sequence two, which is 37 megabytes. I mean, that is just tiny. But look how, you know, relatively good it actually looks. See, there's really nothing terribly wrong with that video. It's pretty easy to see. However, it's still not in the best condition it can be in. And that's because it's an MOV file, and we want it to be an MP4 file. So we're simply going to open up uh, QuickTime Pro, and now we're going to open up our file. And now we're going to export our file. And we're going to uh, say uh, movie to MP4. Now, follow along with me here because these settings are really important. First of all, the file format we're going to choose is regular MP4. The video format we're going to choose is H.264. Our data rate, we can have um, a pretty high. I'm going to choose 1250 kilobits per second. The image size will be 1280 by 720 HD. Frame rate, we'll use the frame rate that we recorded the video at. Audio, we can even take this down a little bit to say 96. And that's a good format for audio. And now all we have to do is save it. And let's just call it Slim Video. And QuickTime Pro saves it for us as a nice, slim, well-performing video that, will, that you can see on just about any browser, whether it's on a PC or a Mac or an iPod, or an iPad, or an iPhone. So here we are uh, at uh, Slim Video, and let's see how big Slim Video is. Slim Video is now nine gigabytes. Now let's see how it looks compared to sequence two. Looks pretty much Not much of a difference between those two videos. But anyway, that's the point. This video will play anywhere that you care to see this face here. So now all we have to do is go to our YouTube account and upload the video. And let's see how long this one takes. We'll even watch this bad boy in real time. It's uploading less than a minute remaining. This is basically how long a one-minute video should take to upload to YouTube. 
You see, there's no longer any need to suffer the pain and humiliation of video bloat. For more tips like this, visit my blog. That's all for me for now. I'm Steve Washer with BrainyVideo.com.